Hey there you great people, I hope you've been so well. I know it's been a long time now, my last cooking video, home cooking video, uh, was the 27th of January. Um, as some of you know, I've been very, very ill um, in the last week and a half. And I'm feeling a little bit better and a little bit stronger today, thank God. And thank you for some of your kind comments and prayers for my health. I think some of them have gone a long way to helping me get better. Like I said, we're in the kitchen today. We're doing a dish uh, inspired by Thailand, or in fact from Thailand. The dish is called Chicken Masama. And I'm going to show you what I have on my work surface behind me. So there is going to be a few more ingredients, by the way. But what I've done is I've took one small brown onion and one small red onion and just chopped them up coarsely like that. Going to have to need a tin of chopped tomatoes, that's 400 grams. A jar of this Massa Man paste, which you should be able to find in your store or order online. And then a very small 165 milliliter uh, can of coconut milk. Uh, these are optional by the way, but there's three chestnut mushrooms I've sliced here. Uh, some green beans, about 15 there. And then some tender stem broccoli that I've actually cut the heads off and then cut the stems up. I've got five cherry tomatoes here, half about two tablespoons of chili powder. But if you don't like spice, you can remove this completely. If you like spice, you can add more. I've also got one teaspoon here of fresh ginger roots. Uh, on top of those things, by the way, you're gonna need a small tin or some ready part boiled uh, potatoes uh, and some garlic powder, salt, pepper, oil, obviously, and your pan. Uh, in a moment, we're gonna get uh, frying these onions and these mushrooms. See you in a second once I've got a pan on the hob here. So with your large wok or pan, uh, get up to about a medium temperature, so three or four on the hob. Um, I've added three tablespoons of vegetable oil in here, by the way, but you could use sunflower oil instead. Uh, that's absolutely fine. I've also put a few grinds of salt and black pepper on these onions. Um, just do these now for about five or six minutes until they are soft. Right, so now we've done our onions on about medium, um, for around about five minutes. What we're going to do is go into the fridge here. And this bowl, by the way, has got all the broccoli and everything else in. But we're going to take our just our mushrooms out, our chestnut mushrooms we've sliced. But you could use normal white button mushrooms field mushrooms, any sort of mushrooms you really like, like just use your favourite mushroom. I had chestnut mushrooms, so I've sliced up five of these, as you can see, like that. And we're going to put these in, give it a damn good stirring around. And again, probably do these on the medium still for around about five more minutes. So at this point now, we've done our onions for five minutes, added the mushrooms and done those for another five minutes. The chicken I showed you earlier on, which was a small breast and a medium breast, I diced some of that into cubes and some into strips and just seasoned simply with salt and pepper. We'll take this now and add this to our wok. Give this a good stir around and mix in with the onions and the actual mushrooms. And just do this maybe for five or six minutes, if I can keep the pan still, um, until the chicken is literally just browned off slightly, or at least sealed, and then we'll add the other ingredients. So as I was just saying, uh, we need to seal the chicken, which means literally just make sure it's white on the outside. It does not have to be cooked all the way through because we have not finished cooking yet. That's been done on five minutes on a medium high, three or four out, on the gas, uh, simple. Get yourself a measuring jug here and take a big tin of tomatoes like this, chopped tomatoes. This is a 400 gram tin and probably put half of the tin in. So maybe 200 grams of those. Take now our chopped tomatoes, which are five chopped cherry tomatoes that I've chopped in half. And then with the potatoes Dad's brought, these are already done in a can. Uh, take some of these, like the smaller ones. Literally, again, just a couple of spoonfuls of these. Master man chicken, by the way, is quite important, heavily dependent on potatoes. So we'll take some of these, uh, put them in the measuring jug. Not that it matters, it's just a vessel to hold them. Um, 
And so then insert in such full, so like half of a big can of these peeled, cooked already potatoes in water. And that's probably plenty now. Transfer them now into your wok. Just like that. Then take our measuring jug, stick it on the tap. I'm sorry about any dirt or anything. Run the water through what we've got our tomatoes in, maybe about 200 ml of water. Put that in the pan for now and give this a really good stirring round and be careful. You don't want to break the potatoes up or anything like that. We want to keep this a whole and nice and nutritious and amazing. We don't want flaky bits of potato in here. Um, at this point now, again, this is an option. Obviously, I've used tender stem broccoli. I've used about five of these, took the actual heads off and then chopped the stems up. And obviously, we've got our green beans here as well. We're going to dump all this in there as well. Again, give this a stir around. <coughs> Um, like so everything's absolutely covered in liquid and all the rest um, without spilling anything everywhere sorry and do this probably for five minutes on a medium high again maybe four or five out of six so after mixing those things in we've done for about five minutes on a medium medium high uh, we're now going to add our ginger normally I do this earlier but I'll do it now and sprinkle that ginger about a teaspoon of ginger around nicely and then probably a tablespoon or two of chili remember you can make this towards your taste if you like spice add less chili sorry more chili if you don't like spice add less um, this is not supposed to be a spicy dish uh, compared to Thai standards however um, I like my spicy so I've added two tablespoons there uh, anyway Again, stir through the ginger and the chilli here uh, on a medium high and do this for about a minute until you start smelling the actual ginger and the chilli. Right, so it's been about a minute since we put the ginger and chilli in there. Uh, what we'll do now is take our small 165ml can, if I'm not covering it up, of coconut milk and make sure we tip all of that in there. Um, at the same time, we're going to get some coriander leaf, uh, just like this, and probably put in a good, probably tablespoon, something like that. I probably should have opened it more, but about a tablespoon of coriander leaf. Um, also now our Massaman, which is important, our jar of Massaman. This is 200 gram jar. You could probably read it from here. Medium, fragrantly spiced, tight style paste with lemongrass, galangal, and spices. Let's just open this up and we'll introduce that and a few more things in a second. So like I was saying, we're going to take some of this garlic now, which I've just opened. Uh, it's a new little pot here and probably add about a tablespoon and a half, something like that. And our jar of Massaman. Um, we're going to add obviously all this 200 gram uh, little jar here, glass jar of the Massaman. All of that in there. Um, completely and we'll give this now a thorough stirring through like completely make sure you mix all this together and as soon as that is introduced especially with all that garlic this tastes absolutely amazing I know it's gonna taste amazing it smells amazing already I can smell the lemongrass coming through um, all different spices the coriander I've just put in there uh, the ginger the chili um, everything it's gonna be very 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 good so mix that through again still medium high and give that a few minutes so we've everything thoroughly stirred together now uh, we're gonna turn this up now to about a five a six so very fairly high get this up to boiling point which might take three or four or five minutes or something and as soon as it hits boiling point we're going to turn it down to a simmer, so probably about a two out of six on the hob. So because our pan was already really hot, obviously having done what we've done already in the pan, it's literally taken about three minutes to pretty much get up to boiling point. As you see now, at this point now, immediately get back on the heat and turn it down to about a two, as you can see, uh, out of six, so like a simmer, 
give it a very, very, very good stir. And we'll do this now probably for another 20 minutes or so to reduce it down. Here we are, we've been doing this on a medium now for about 20, 25 minutes on three out of six on the gas. And it might not look like it without steaming the camera up, but we've had to reduce this down quite a bit, thickened it up. All the potatoes are really tender. The green beans are really nice and soft and done. The chicken is really super tender and amazing. And that sauce smells amazing of the garlic, the ginger, the lemongrass and all the other herbs, spice and all the rest. I'm going to enjoy this now. Literally, I'm going to cheat a little bit with a pouch of microwave rice. You can serve this with noodles, with rice, uh, whatever you feel like, that is entirely your choice. I'm so happy to be with you all again and do one of these home cooking videos because it's been almost two months. For sure, I will not be leaving it uh, so long until the next video, like in terms of home cooking. Hopefully a barbecue video in a few days, a competition video for sure tomorrow, like a pick a number one, and so much more great content. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember now, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, hit, share it as well, remember, hit the notification bell, and remember to please subscribe if you're not always subscribed. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all later on.